for this video we're going to be looking at a couple of things one we shall start with account registration how do you register with a broker two we shall look at document verification how does someone verify the, uh, the documents which documents are you supposed to use then after that we shall look at creation of a forex trading account because it's a couple of uh, people out there especially newbies uh, and a lot more of traders do not know how to create a forex trading tra account so this is going to be your video uh, that is basically going to be the introduction for you into the forex world forex experience and forex trading career we'll again see after creation of this particular account how do you link it to the trading platform which trading platform is it appropriate is best for someone to uh, trade with when they are literally starting to trade and also when they are experienced when it comes to the forex market then we will not only stop from there after looking at the platform we will again look at uh, the different ways of how someone can deposit onto this account created and then later or lastly we shall look at how you withdraw from specifically this account if there is a, any of these things that we have just mentioned that you do not know make sure i watch this video till the end you will be in position to do these things by the end of this video My name is Sewan Kambo Isma. I thank you for liking, subscribing, and, and sharing our videos uh, from our different social media platforms that is to TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, and a lot more of our social media platforms. So without any wastage of time, let's get directly onto our chat and we see how best we can learn this, how best we can do this the few things that oh the things that we have just basically mentioned and how we can put them in practice so join me as we get onto the pc and see practically how we do this now <clears throat> as we get onto the pc just go below this particular video there is a link i've provided use that link when you use this link it will automatically drive you up to this page of ours that you see onto the platform now when you reach onto this page just go here where there is open a live trading account or a live account. So when you click on live account, because now what we are doing, we're going to start with uh, account registration. So how do you create, how do you register with the broker as you actually start trading? Meanwhile, before we can start uh, to see how we create this particular account, we need to know who is a broker. Now a broker on this side is the actually the person that works intermediary uh, between the financial markets and also the uh, the forex trader that is you. So the broker provides the technology, the platform, uh, you deposit with the broker. So you literally can't just go directly into the markets. That's why we said you need a forex broker. So when you click on open live account, so what we are doing, we are actually going to create an account. By you clicking on our uh, open live account, specifically for this video, we're going to be creating uh, a real account. So when, of course, when you are uh, when you click onto open uh, a live account, it will automatically drive you to this page. Now, this page, what you're doing, like I've said, specifically for you to create an account first. You'll have to select a country of residence. Of course, that is Uganda. You'll put in your country, your phone number, just as you see. Then after putting in your phone number, you put, you put your first name, your last name. You put your email, but as you're putting your email, make sure that the email that you have put is a right email and you haven't missed out on anything because if you put a wrong email, it will return an error and an email is a very important uh, point here. It's a very... Uh, uh, it's a very uh, 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 important thing that we need when we are creating an account. Then after providing your email and you've actually affirmed that it is right email, the next thing that you're supposed to do is actually to do the date of birth. So with the date of birth, make sure you provide the date of birth as the way it appears on your national ID. Now, after doing that, create a password. Now, this, part, this password, make sure you know it, you will not forget it. And because this is the password that you are going to be using, as you're logging in and i'll actually keep reminding you of this password that you've created so make sure you first write it when you write it down uh because it's the one that you're going to be using every time you actually log in okay after the creation of what we are doing the registration that we are doing then after that click on to i have read and accepted the policy 
uh, the private policy. Then after that, click on to register. When you click on to register, so when you click on to register, automatically uh, uh, something like this will show after clicking on to registration. So they will tell you that registration successful and activation link has been sent to your email. Open an email and click onto the activation link to get started. So you just uh, go to your email. When you go to your email, they have sent you an, a link. So when you click onto that link, so uh, let me show you how that email looks like. So this is what they have sent to you. It will be something like this. It will just basically show you activate an account. So this is what has been actually sent to you, you know? Uh, so you just click on it. When you click on it immediately, they will have to send you uh, the ID that you'll be using to log in and the other password that I told you earlier to write down. So that ID will actually also look like this. So immediately you click on that activation uh, button, it will actually also uh, bring immediately a new email. So you open your email again and look for the current email. So it will, when you, uh, of course, when you open it again, it will show you uh, uh, um, uh, uh, details like this with an, uh, 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 with an account ID. So make sure I don't share this account ID and keep it with you. So mine, that's why I've actually also hided mine. Uh, that's why you can't definitely access it now when you're done scroll down and click uh so make sure you also write this uh account id because now uh it means that for you to log in onto hot forex the account that we have just created uh you need this you need this id and the password that you created so that's why they tell you uh my hf account id is this and then my HF password, the password you selected during the registration process, like I've told you. So make sure that you also write the account ID and the password. Every whenever you need to go to the broker, uh, to this particular broker to do the activity, some of the activities that you're going to see here and there every now and then, you'll have to first log in. And for you to log in, you need this ID and this password. So make sure you note these ones and keep them because the moment... Uh, one gets lost, uh, you always have to come back to your email and check for this specific email. But it's important that you have these details and kept them on with you every whenever you try to log in on this particular account. So let's see what is next. Then after that, scroll below this particular email. So scroll below this particular email and uh, go to where there is a login now. Or you can just go to Google directly and type in Hot Forex my HF account and then login. Now, uh, if you don't want to waste uh, to go to take all that, you can either use login now or you can definitely use login onto my HF account. Okay, these two buttons they can all take you to one direction for you to log in. Okay, so you can either use the Google. Uh, where I just type in HF and go to login my members area, my HF account members area login, or you just click on uh, HF uh, login. Now, uh, we're going to use this. Of course, when you click on to read, it means that now what you're trying to do is actually to log in. Remember, you have, you have already registered and you're now a member. So what you're trying to do is... So what you're trying to do is now to log in and with the details that you have registered with, to now uh, go to the next step, which will be now account very rather document verification. So we shall see which documents are good to uh, you're supposed to register with and all that. But without any wastage of time, let's log in and with the details, with the login ID and the password that we have registered with, and we see what is next and how you basically do or need to do when it comes to account uh, rather to document verification. So after putting them, you click on login. Now, when you click on login, so this area is called my HF area, okay? So uh, it's called my HF area. So when you reach here, um, you just need to come up here where there is complete registration. When you click on complete registration, it will bring you an area where you need to put uh, the country of residence, uh, the address, the address is of course what is on. Now for this video, specifically for this video, uh, our next step is to do document verification. Now, for this verification, we're going to use an ID, a national ID. If you do not have a national ID, then make sure you use um, make sure you use a driving permit. If you don't have a driving permit, make sure you use 
uh, a passport. So we're using a national ID, a passport or a driving permit. Without any of these, you can't do uh, account, uh, rather document verification for this account. Now, the reason as to why we're doing the uh, document verification, it's because or uh, it's because they need to verify that it's you you know and for them to verify that you need to provide a document a document such as a national idea passport or any so because uh you'll need to deposit on this account it's this account that you need to deposit to withdraw from so you need to create an account just like the way banks do now after that make sure I go behind below uh the reason as to why i'm telling you that section okay of course when you reach here you click onto that that section I'm explaining to you, I have already filled it. Okay, so it is something to do with address, uh, where is your address is. Now, for that particular section, it is the one that you first fill before you come onto this. So you need to fill the address. The address is the address that's behind your national ID. So when they ask you for the ID, rather for the address, just go behind your national ID, put the district, uh, then put the division, uh, the all what is there, put it there as your address, and then click on to uh, save and continue when you click on save and continue it will bring you to this page this page is very easy just fill anything okay uh so for this case we select estimated worth we can do up to 10000 k so you're below 10000 k um then education you can do any level either undergraduate postgraduate i'll do an undergraduate then employment status you can put anything you can say employed and then source of funds where you get in the funds you can just do savings inheritance or any you can select any then after that trading knowledge and experience you need to select the trading knowledge and experience so you can say no experience or advanced so let me do advanced uh let's let me do intermediate then uh, declarations have you ever been convicted of a crime or any outstanding criminal charges against you you can definitely click on no then are you a politically exposed person no uh, are you a u.s citizen or a u.s resident for the tax uh <clears throat> purposes you can also say no then after that you click on to i have by checking this box by click by checking this box i have placed my digital signature confirming that i'm at least 18 years of age and have read and agree to all terms and conditions then after that you click on to save and continue when you click on save and continue it means that they are serving they are saving all this data for this particular account of yours and everything that you have saved is something that is about you okay so now uh after saving that it will definitely of course bring you to this section now on this section you're choosing uh choose issuing country of course it is uganda then uh, we're going to use of course uh, a national id right so you click on to uh identity identity card then make sure that you have put your id here on your pc or on your phone okay because the same the whatsoever every as uh step that we carry on to our phone and the laptop they are actually the same procedures so you can continue with mobile phone uh take a phone using a webcam a photo using a webcam or upload a file from the, this particular device i will use this for my sake it also depends for your sake what is favorable for you but i would recommend uh you to use upload a file from this particular device so it means that you've already taken this and then you just click on upload so when you are uh, you can uh, of course you uh, when you're taking the photo of your id you can select the front and the back page as you're also going to do for my uh, this particular section so image, image quality verified so that section just follow i'll not show it for purposes of security reasons i can't show you my id so but make sure that you've definitely just upload the front part and the back part just following each and every uh each and every step by step please wait this can take a few minutes we will notify you when the verification is complete so um the, the, the verification may not take uh you uh for more than 24 hours okay so uh, what we apparently done uh, is actually called the document verification specifically identity verification or proof of identity uh verification so 
So the next thing that maybe you can do is also to upload the proof of address, but for proof of address, we will not need it. Reason being that for this specific section, we're going to be using the national, uh, the mobile money payment deposit method that doesn't require address verification. So for address verification, you can provide a document uh, such as um, a utility bill in case you need uh, a utility bill in case you have issues there and there, you can contact us. We may be in position to help you. Then you may also need a bank statement. That bank statement should have a bank logo, should have have a, uh, a stamp on it and should not be uh, later than two months then after that the next thing uh, that you are uh, you can also provide an electricity bill that is in the same names as of that uh, of the ID or the other uh, document you upload you uploaded uh, you uploaded um, at first so your my HF account is approved so uh, this has just taken a few minutes, something like one or two minutes, and it's been verified, meaning that, uh, however, it's it's actually been approved, not verified. However, it will be verified. Uh, approval is something to do with the, the image, the quality, and all that. But then, of course, uh, verifying will take place within not less than 24 hours. So our next thing is now to... Uh, our next thing is to create a, a trading account. How do we create a trading account? Now, when you reach onto the platform after the approval of our account, our documents rather, then you just scroll down. And when you scroll down, you come where there is CFD trading accounts. Now, when you click on uh, CFD trading accounts, there are various options, but the option that we're going to look at is a live account, open a live account. If you want to create a demo account, this is the option. But for this video, I'm going to be creating uh, a live account specifically to see how we also uh, work out things. And then when we come to on how you can create or when you, when you click on open a live account, uh, there are various uh, accounts that from which you can choose from. There is premium, it's on both MT4, MT5, micro, MT4, MT5, then zero spread is also MT4, MT5. So uh, you can choose basing on the different options, you know, opinions that are presented. Uh, characteristics and principles of each and every account of here like this has a minimum of a hundred dollars the leverage is this the spread is this uh the commission the bonus rather is here and then it's on the plan on the on the uh, <clears throat> on the application now it's also on the application trading with hf app okay now this is on this is not on the app also this is not on the app so uh usually uh mt4 was banned uh, rather the tradable instrument, rather the MT4, MT5 uh, trading platforms were banned from the iOS trading devices now. So for those that are probably want to trade with, uh, definitely with uh, the iPhones and they have no access to this. So this is the best app, this is the best application for them because there's not any uh, MT4, MT5 anymore on I and iOS or on uh, iPhones. So you can open this account and download this uh, tradable application uh, on hot forex then there is uh, this it has also various characteristics and advantages this is zero spread it's an ECN the moment you enter it immediate starts there and then uh, the minimum deposits there but then for this case uh, this has a minimum of five dollars this is the leverage the spread is there and the bonus is there so let's click onto this now when you click onto this this has uh, like they have told you it has MT4 MT5 and then uh, you need to select if you're going to use MT4, you need to, you know, if you have MT5, then, you know, you see MT4 has 150 plus uh, tradable instruments. They can be currency pair. They can be uh, stocks. They can be indices. Rather, yes, they can be indices. They can be commodities like, the, like gold. They can be metals, you know, like these are tradable instruments. As you can see, MT4 has more. So I would recommend MT5. It has more uh, tradable instruments. Uh, this has no bonus, but this has bonus. So let's select this. Now, when you reach onto this sec uh, this section, this uh, you can select a currency that you want to use. There are two. You can either select a dollar or euro. The leverage you can always change. We can do one to five hundred. You can also request for the bonus. Uh, uh, there is hundred percent credit bonus. You can select that. Then after selecting onto this, you go through the terms and conditions. Uh, you click on I have conf confirmed that I have read and agreed to with 100% credit bonus. Then after that, this is an important section. Uh, please put th uh, 3488 and then 57. Okay. 
So when you click onto that, click on add, and then after clicking on to add, just come to this section and click open account. Now, by you clicking on open account, it means that you've you've now opened an account, which is the task that we are, which is one of the tasks that we are looking at of how you can create uh, a trading account. So when you click on open account, your account is being created. Please wait a uh, while we proceed. Uh, while we while we proceed. Now, um, after creating your account, you see uh, they provide you with uh, after uh, it has been actually created. You will see they will give you the trading account uh, number, which is the login ID for specifically this account that you've just created. They will give you a trading account, a rather password. This is the password. Then they will give you the investor's password. This one, you don't need it unless if you're creating this account specifically for someone to manage your account. So you, for you, you'll be remaining with this. And uh, for him who is trading, will definitely this. But then for this specifically, looking at someone who is trading for himself. So this is your account. Now, these are the details that you definitely need to link to your uh, trading application, which is the MT4 that you're going to download, which is the next step. When you download it, you will need, uh, I'll show you where you're supposed to put the login, uh, the password, and also the server is also another important thing. So the server, uh, the password, and the ID are the most important thing. Now, you also make sure that you write this one somewhere. Now, let me make this clear. Some people mistake the ones that we registered with and this one. The ones that we registered with are the ones that bring you to this Hot Forex trading account. Hot Forex, okay? The ones that bring you the login that was given to you at the beginning and also the password that you created at the registration point. So those two are the ones that uh, bring you to the Hot Forex. Now, these ones that you've just created are for the trading account and the logins that they give you here are the ones that you're supposed to log in with on your MT4 because now you're not going to trade here. You're going to trade uh, on the uh, MT4. MT4, we have to download it and put it on our computer, okay? So you can have it either on your PC or you can have it on the phone. Now, since uh, we have it on different uh, locations, we need to link them, okay? We need to link the MT4. You know, you can have different trading accounts. You can also create different, different other uh accounts like the same way we have created so you will have different logins and password different logins and password now these ones a copy of this is actually also sent to your email okay you may write it somewhere or you can always go and check for this particular email so these ones help us to link our this account that you've created with the mt4 remember when you deposit you're going to deposit on this account and to do the deposit you deposit it, you deposit from here where we are now now you don't deposit on the MT4. The MT4 is just for trading. Now, you need to link it to this particular account. And for you to link it, that's why you need these details. Ready, your live account has been created. So, we have created an account. If you've never created an account in your life, this is going to be your first trading account. After creating this, the next thing that you're supposed to do is now, uh, uh, is now uh, to download the MT4, okay? Uh, is now to download the MT4. Now, after creating this, a copy is sent to the email. Um, so now, um, let's see how we download the platform, which is our next practice activity on this particular video. So to download uh, the trading platform, you come to, uh, you scroll down and come to where there is platform, okay? So when you click on platform, they ask you, do you want to download MT4 or MT5? Since we downloaded, uh, we, the account we created was MT4, so we would wish to download MT4. So when you reach here, you just come on read more, uh, this first option. Uh, when you reach on read more, uh, it will bring something of this nature. When you reach here, uh, you just click on download MT4 on Windows, if you have a Windows operating system. If it's a Mac, uh, or, uh, <coughs> A MacBook or an iMac, you also download here. So when you download on M Windows, the, uh, it will download. When it will download, you install it like the same way we install an, a software on our PC. When we install it, uh, then uh, since I already have that platform already, okay. So um, 
Uh, specifically now you need to check uh, the server and the server that uh, probably was sent for that specific account was this. If you probably can look into this email of mine, this is our server. Uh, so after selecting the server, I click on to next. When you click on to next, you have to uh, click on existing trade account. Okay, some people just go with this. Just click on existing trade account. When you click on to that, go copy uh, the login. Okay, you're not supposed to share this information to every person. That's why I'm also not sharing them. Uh, then put it here. Uh, then you also need to put the password. You're also not supposed to share the password. That's why I'm not sharing it. Then you also put it there. After that, you can click on to finish. When you click on to finish, uh, here the data, the numbers will start moving, okay? And uh, it will also show that there is an incoming mail that is coming. And of course, definitely it will show or it will appear like this. Now, if it doesn't show you uh, what we have gone through, okay, always come and click on to uh, file. When you click on file, click on open uh, an account. Okay. When you click on to an account, open an account, it will bring you here for those of you that uh, fail to reach onto this point. So you can always do that. So it can help you reach at this point and you link it. Okay. Now that's how we link our trading account. Uh, we have created an account and we have linked it to our trading platform, which is the MT4. So for those of you that didn't know how the MT4 looks like, it looks basically like this now mine has been customized it may not look as the same way as yours but you be, i believe uh you're seeing something of this nature uh as you actually see if you haven't uh seen uh the mt4 or uh, make sure you go to our channel and look out for the specific videos about the mt4 and how you can use the mt4 when you are trading now the last thing that we need to look at uh is uh, of course um how we deposit we registered we did account uh, document verification we created a trading account we linked it uh, to our mt4 which we have just done now and now the last thing that we need to look at is to see how someone deposits how someone withdraws on this particular trading account now when you deposit on the on the other account here on your uh hot forex here on your hot forex which is uh this was our account you can now view uh when you click on view accounts you've been positioned to view that particular account we have just created okay we have just created which is now this okay so now if you want to deposit on this account uh remember when you come here you realize that it is zero balance okay uh we have linked it it is zero balance whatsoever that is you do here is definitely seen this section so you don't deposit here but you deposit here now for you to deposit you can either click on add funds here or you just need to definitely come on to fund funding and click on deposit now for you to click on deposit i'm going to show you specifically how you use mtn uh airtel okay for deposit now you can also do bank transfer uh we have alternatives here okay we have alternatives here and you can view all so there is bank transfer that's when you use bank there is um wire transfer and uh, it's actually wire <coughs> wire transfer but i will not look at that that's involved using bank but then for mobile money uh we can come to alternative here uh when you reach alternative there is an option here called dosupe okay this will pay is the one that we're going to use for mobile money. However, some people actually mistake it, mistake it with this one, uh, mobile e-payment. Okay, so don't use this. Use do to pay. Okay, it has do to pay. Use do to pay. So just come and click on to do to pay. When you click on to do to pay, do to pay is for mo is for both MTN and Airtel uh, mobile money users. So it uh, this uh, payment method allows a minimum of actually twenty thousand uganda shillings okay you can deposit on that but it means that it depends also on the account that you created their accounts that ha allow a minimum of a hundred a hundred dollars so when you deposit on it like the way that uh when you deposit on it so this system allows the minimum deposit of twenty thousand dollars uganda shillings rather twenty thousand uh, uganda shillings sorry then you come and put any amount in Uganda shilling that you want to uh, deposit on your account. 
<clears throat> now, uh, let's say I want to deposit uh, 300,000 Uganda shillings. So it gives you an uh, amount in dollars somewhere below here. Uh, that's about 78.97 USDs. Then you select the service provider, MTN or Airtel. We can do Airtel. Then you put an international uh, uh, full format of the phone number, meaning that you need to start with plus 256.75.79. Like you put a full international format of your contact, starting with plus 256. Then you put your number seven, blah, 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 blah. Me, I'll put mine. Then after that, <coughs> then after that, uh, you deposit. So they show you the minimum for for a, a, a transaction minimum is 20,000 and maximum is 3.5 million Uganda shillings. Uh, 3.5 million Uganda shillings. So if let's say you're depositing like 10 million, you can take it in bits, you know, you can do the first time, the second time, the third time depositing, okay? Then after you click on deposit. Now, when you click on deposit, it will bring a pop-up uh, for you to put in your password, okay? So you just need to uh, put your password just like the way you see this one, the way it has come, okay? It's a pop-up. Can you see it? But you can't. So it requires you to put your uh, your password. So you just need to put your PIN rather, mobile money PIN, and immediately this money uh, you just click on reply and this money is going to go directly onto your wallet. Now, when you're done, this money will actually display here. Now, when it displays here, it means that now it's on your wallet. Now, the next thing is uh, for you to transfer it now to your trading account. So after depositing, I'll not deposit, I was just showing you. After I've done the deposit, you come on transfer funds. Uh, when you reach on transfer funds, uh, so you remove it from your wallet because it will be now here, which is here, and then to the account that you created, which is this. So it means that you put in the amount that you want to transfer from your wallet, then you click transfer. So immediately this money will automatically come to your trading account that you actually created, okay, uh, that you actually created, which is uh, here and you've been positioned uh, to view when, of course, when you click on view accounts, uh, you definitely be seeing the balance here, uh, the balance actually showing, okay? You will actually be seeing the balance showing, okay? You understand? And also, you'll, you'll also be seeing the balance here showing that 70 something uh, US dollars, okay? Now, the same happens if you want to withdraw. If you want to withdraw from here, you need also to first come to transfer, uh, to transfer funds. When you click on transfer funds, you need to remove this money from this account to your wallet. Okay. So here now you'll be actually, uh, uh, you click on to, you click uh, onto from account. Okay. You select, you click this drawdown from account, then to the wallet now you can later on withdraw just like i'm going to show you now to withdraw you come to click on withdraw now do super may not show because uh probably mine it may show because i've deposited before but to you it may not uh, it may not show okay it may not show because you have not deposited okay just as uh you uh there is uh there is something that they tell you here let me go back to deposit uh i'll show you uh when I come to alternative, uh, I come back to the super. You see these important instructions before making the payment. Withdraw option will be available after a deposit has been made. So the withdraw, some withdraw options will not will not show, not until you make a deposit with them. One of which is the super. So for me, it shows uh, I can withdraw it with it because I've deposited before. Okay, or I've been using this account before uh, for withdraw. That's why it's showing. Uh, it's showing. But to you, uh, when you deposit, it will also show. Okay. So when you come to uh, do super, you click on it. Uh, when you click on it, but for you to click on it, you must have uh, brought the money to back to the wallet, transferred from the account to the wallet, just like I showed to you. Then you put in the amount that you want to withdraw. Let's say one hundred dollars. You select the service provider. Uh, and then you put in the number full in full format plus two five six. Then you start instead of zero, you put uh, seven 
uh, blah, 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 you continue. Then you put the reason as to why you're withdrawing funds. Maybe I want to withdraw funds. You put your date of birth so you shouldn't forget it. And then you also put your password uh, that you log in with uh, as you as you log into this account. So you put the password for Hot Forex, uh, the one that we created first as on the registration. So you put it there and then you click on to withdraw. So they tell you the minimum to withdraw is $10 and the maximum is $400 per transaction. So you can withdraw, withdraw again, withdraw again, withdraw again. For this e-wallet uh, 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 <clears throat> e <clears throat> system, which is mobile money. Okay, for this case, it's the super. So I believe now we can create and we can register with the broker. We can... Uh, do the uh, uh, document verification we can create a trading account we can link it we can download the mt4 and we can also deposit and withdraw hope you find this video helpful in case you have challenges here and there don't hesitate to contact us i provide you with the number at the beginning of this video and also for those that want to learn how to trade also use the contacts to contact us and also those that have issues here and there are uh, concerning trading also don't hesitate uh, to contact us with that particular number that we have provided. Please make sure you use the link that we provided below this video to create this particular account. I uh, hope you learned from this. If you really enjoyed and you learned something, make sure you share it to your friends such that they also do. Subscribe as well as you click onto the bell such that you're one of those few that get notified about each and every new video that we do release. Thank you so much. I still say one combo each. I still say one combo is my like, share, and subscribe. I do sign out.